name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Now a little while ago I, I did a little video um, showing you how to take uh, one of our fabulous stencils and turn it into a masterpiece on a piece of old scrap paper uh, with a gel press. So you can see here we, we produced two pieces which came out really beautifully. One on, one on one of our designer papers and one of them on just a piece of scrap paper with some ink on it. Now I want to take this and I want to turn it into a really lovely uh, canvas piece of artwork, um, which is the main reason why I did it on paper to start with on copy paper. So let me show you what I do now. Um, at Clarity we, we sell these really cool uh, canvas boards. And my idea is to take a canvas board, let's say uh, A5, and wrap this artwork around it and then mount it on a larger piece on an A4 canvas board to produce just a really nice piece of artwork. I'll show you another piece in a moment. Um, but let me just show you how easy this actually is um, to take a piece of copy paper and turn it into something very, very lovely. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that it's in the right place. So this is an A5 stencil, so I know that it's going to fit. And I just want to turn it over. And what I need to do now is go to a light source, you see. So I need to hold it to a light source like this. And then I can see exactly, because I'm going to make some registration marks on the back. Then I'll know that when I lay it down in a moment, it's in the right place. So I'm just going to make the registration marks in the corner like so. There we are. And I know that it sits there exactly. And I'll probably even trim it back a little bit with a pair of scissors. And I'm going to just, let me just take the corners off as well, because that will help with the wrap around in a minute. So and because we're going to then lay this piece on, um, on another canvas, we won't see the, um, the background. We won't see the back, which is ideal. Let me just show you how we're going to do this. First things first, I think we're going to use a glue sealant. Now I use the Viva Decor, the decoupage. This is very good gear. I'll show you how this works. And, uh, and I'm going to use one of their brushes as well. And what we're going to do is put a layer of this on the actual canvas board. That's the first thing. Not on the paper, not on the, not on the copy paper, because it will just wrinkle it up. So we're going to lay it down a decent amount on here, like so. And then when we've got that in place, then we're going to, let me just move this over here, enter the artwork. I'm going to lift this up now, flip it over, and I'm going to just lay it down on the art piece like that. There we go. And then I'll turn it over. Let me just turn this over like so. And then I'm just going to rub it. And I, you'll notice I'm using the copy paper just to make sure that it sets. Okay. It's going to work fine. Right. Just add a little bit of pressure from that side. If there are a couple of wrinkles when you do this, don't worry about it because it's like wallpaper. They disappear as, as the artwork dries. As the, as the paste dries. Now the next thing we want to do is take a little bit of this um, sealant and now we're going to do the wrap around. So we're just going to add a little bit on two sides. I'll do two sides at a time but it's very very quick. Wrap it around in the corner, like so. Because it's copy paper, it's really easy, very malleable, very easy to just wrap around. And if you get it wrong, like I just have, then rather than tear it, lift it again quickly before it sits. There we go, down it goes again. And then we'll just turn it around, tuck the corners in, get rid of that piece of, let's just take a piece of copy paper. I don't want to spoil the front. There we go, clean piece. Right, tuck in the corners. Cool, I tell you what, this reminds me of making a bed. 
all hail to the fitted sheets. Right, there we go. So when you turn this over now, you'll see there are a couple of, see the creases? Now, don't give that a second thought and don't, don't start fiddling with it either. Like, this is one thing, just to rub the air out of it. But don't worry about the creases. They will, they will go. I have, I know that. Right. But what's lovely is, look, when I, when I lift this up now, so we've turned a piece of scrap paper into a beautiful piece of artwork. I like this a lot. And then if I wanted to, I could take a piece of double-sided adhesive sheet, watch, and then I'll just pop that on there like so. And then I'll take this out of there. Let me just remove the wax paper on the back. And then I can take one of my, the next size up, like this. I tell you what, should we put the lid on there? I can see it happening. I've had a premonition. There we go. We'll put the lid on. And then we'll just decide a little bit to the top, a little bit higher, so that we've got room to sign it. And also that's what we do, isn't it? You see, and then what you'll find is if there was a little bit of whiteness around the edge, it's gone now, you can't see it. And I'm just going to, I don't want to put my fingers all over it. I'm just going to use a piece of copy paper while I set it. How lovely is that? And because I can, Biro is best for this, right? Just a, there you go. Who says, isn't that lovely? So there you go. In five minutes time, that will be as flat as a pancake and it's got a lovely texture to it. Because we've used copy paper, what will happen is the texture from the canvas board will come through. And that's the reason why we used the scrap to start with. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that. If you're interested in how I, I uh, made the stencil into a stamp, then do go and have a look at the other video. It's called uh, the hair in the jelly, that's what it's called. Um, so that will tell you how to use the gel press to get that negative effect, as in the black where the plastic is on the stencil. Um, and other than that, I think I might do a little video on how to make these scrap papers because there's a really neat trick and you can go into mass production and it's really, really easy. So yeah, I think I'll do that one next. But thank you very much for joining me and do leave a comment or follow our YouTube channel. We, uh, we are with you every Tuesday and, uh, and I shall see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye bye now.